Next question, the member for Guelph. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Environment, Conservation and Parks. Uh, late last week, the government quietly published a regulation that allows large polluters to be exempted from normal GHG reporting timeline requirements. And since the government suspended the environmental oversight rules last month, they were able to make this change without notice or public consultation. Transparent GHG reporting rules allow us to hold government accountable and polluters accountable. And it makes no sense to suspend pollution um, uh, reporting during a pandemic, especially when experts now are drawing a link between air pollution and vulnerability to COVID-19. So, Speaker, why does the minister think that a global pandemic during a health crisis is the right time to suspend transparent reporting requirements for climate pollution? Minister of the Environment, Conservation and Parks. Thanks very much uh, for the question from the member opposite. And Mr. Speaker, uh, early in the pandemic, uh, we moved to uh, ensure that we were able to react and continue the supply chain within this government, within this province during the pandemic. And at that time, uh, we suspended the 30-day uh, consultation period on the EBR uh, in order to ensure that uh, we can keep people supplied with food and keep people safe, Mr. Speaker. Uh, in relation to the question, member opposite about the greenhouse gas uh, reporting, obviously it wasn't hidden, it was posted on the EBR, um, so it was public for everybody. And what that whole idea was, was to line up the reporting structure for industry in Ontario with the changes the federal government did because of the pandemic by extending it by one month. One month to report that. So we didn't want to overburden industry in this, this province, which is having a hard time bringing in the people to do the reporting because Response. of the pandemic. And instead, we made it easier to do one report that fits in line with the province in Canada. I'm not sure if the member opposite really cares about businesses during this pandemic, but we do, and we're making sure that they can survive and make it through this day. Thank you. The supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker. I'd like the minister to know that in the regulation, it does not specify one month. It says for an indeterminate period of time. Huh. I would say. If anybody has been fighting for businesses in this pandemic, it's been me calling for a ban on commercial rent evictions over and over again yeah, to stand yeah. up for our small businesses. Speaker, I'm concerned that the government doesn't understand or hasn't considered how this change could affect our obligations under the Paris Agreement. And I've complimented the government and indeed all members of this House for quarantining partisanship during this pandemic. But I'm concerned that the government could be using the COVID crisis to undermine environmental protections. Numerous Question. consumer groups have expressed concerns about this. So will the minister consider bringing back the Environmental Bill of Rights so we have public oversight on essential Thank you very much. <laughs> minister of the Environment. Uh, thanks very much, Mr. Speaker, and, and the member opposite knows that my door is open if he does have certain questions. It's, it's a month. Um, but anyways, he's, he's, Mr. Speaker, I, I, I kind of see this member as he's growing in his, in his role in the legislature. He's becoming a politician in sheep's clothing. He comes across as this gentle person coming forward, but at the end of the day, Mr. Speaker, Order. he's playing par politics. He's playing partisanship. When I first suspended the EBR, he was on Twitter saying, you know, there's no ill will behind it, good for him. Order. Special interest groups get a hold of them, all of a sudden it's bad. Mr. Speaker, we have allowed through this, this process to make sure farmers continue food supply with the nutrient management would have been suspended if we didn't act, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we have GHG reporting, which is online for people to read at, Mr. Speaker. Because of COVID-19, we have an amendment to the ESA Act with forestry, but we are allowing a 30-day consultation Response. period, Mr. Speaker. We are being pragmatic to ensure Ontario are safe. Our supply chain is ongoing. I wish the member opposite would join on board and support this government, work with us to have us defeat this pandemic and get the economy up and running again.